What's going on my good people? So I made a post on Instagram at Found Conscious a while ago um, about Apple AirPods. Um, I advised people not to wear them because of the health effects and um, it went viral, still going viral to this day. And judging by the comments um, that I'll display here, a lot of people got offended by it. A lot of people didn't realize that these Apple AirPods are causing health problems and they were defending a corporation that's really stealing from them that doesn't give anything, doesn't care about them and um, it's led me down a rabbit hole to realize that corporations, specifically Apple, um, really do hire researchers to study why people join cults right, and why people join religious cults and they use these psychological mechanisms to create a cult-like mentality for their own company and this is what they've done, judging by the comments and the messages that I've received, it's pretty evident that people are literally devoted to this company and and they will argue, they will attack you and they will um, go to war with you if you criticise their favourite company, which I found quite funny and quite absurd and quite sad to be fair. Anyway, um, Apple AirPods do cause us health problems, all wireless technology does cause us health problems. You know, when you study the meridian system, um, you're putting your Apple AirPod right inside your ear canal, which is the worst place you could possibly put an EMF emitting device. It's in your ear canal and when you look at the meridian system, it's connected to your brain. Um, so, you know, it affects your brain, simple as. Um, there's a website called Synchro that you can that I'll link here that you can check out and basically this guy has a YouTube video and he tests the EMF frequency emitted by Apple AirPods compared to other wireless headphones and he finds that Apple AirPods emit way more, significantly more EMF than most other wireless headphones. And this goes to show why we shouldn't be putting EMF emitting devices right inside our brain. Um, which is what you're basically doing with Apple AirPods, okay? Now, they're Bluetooth, so they're connected to your phone, but they also have chips inside, RFID chips, that, if you understand how smart technology works, connects to anything else that is smart. And so, they're connected to each other, and your brain is in the middle being fried. It's simple as that. Um, in the uh, website, um, I cited a few studies and I want to go over some of the, the studies and some of the literature just to back up my point and back up the point that they are causing neurological damage. Several studies have shown low frequency EMFs, low frequency EMFs which is what Apple AirPods emit, non-ionizing radiation, that altered function of neurotransmitters in mice. A study in 2014 showed exposure to low frequency EMFs increased NMDA receptors activity leading to an increase in anxiety behavior in mice. Several, several studies shown disruption in the transportation of nutrients and neurotransmitters in the brain which causes a whole host of health problems. In 2013 a study showed low EMF to have in the conclusion, I quote, devastating effect on the memory of memory consolidation in mice. In the memory, okay, so it's affecting the memory of mice. In 2015, a study showed significant changes in the functional brain activity. These are just neurological damages, and we haven't even touched the oxidative damages that they cause and the, 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 the cancer studies that have been done. Um, if you want to know more about the cancer studies and the more about the oxidative stress, which causes a host of other health problems, for example, some of the health problems that I've noticed when I was going through a lot of the studies which I'll link down some materials, some literature and I'll also explain some it later on. Some of the problems I came across and the studies I found, cause of cancer, brain tumours, DNA breaking, disruption of cell metabolism, melatonic reduction which affects sleep drastically, generation of stress proteins and increase in blood brain barrier permeability. So. Um, a host, a host of health problems and another one which is infertility as well, which is cell phones. Um, 
If you guys want to know more about the studies and want to find literature and not just do a quick Google search because you're not going to find anything, we have, uh, I have, so I'm going to link down some sites that you can go on. There's powerwatch.org. Um, they have hundreds of peer reviewed literature and studies and most of them show significant results um, supporting the fact that EMF and low frequency EMF are causing health problems which is what is being emitted by most of your wireless devices including your airpods check out their whole site, their, all, their whole index they have a lot of information, important information to you uh, the website called Synchro which is what I was talking about you can check that site out um, bioinitiative.org which is a site that I personally like and go to uh, for a lot of information they have over 3,500 studies of independent researchers um, concluding that EMF and supporting this idea that EMF are causing us health problems um, they have you can download a lot of the abstracts a lot of their PDFs and they have thousands and thousands of studies that you can go to PubMed which is uh, one of the biggest peer-reviewed literature sites and you can browse that site and they have thousands of studies too and I'll link them down below and I'll show them here on your screen too so you know what they look like. Um, you're going to do a quick Google search, you're not going to find anything. Why? Google, Apple, Amazon, all these big corporations are all pro wireless tech industry. They want to roll out this technology. Uh, because it's a conflict of interest for them if they post the truth so they're not going to post the true research at the top these corporations especially the tech corporations that are rolling out a lot of these devices Apple AirPods they're not even doing their own tests they're not even conducting their own private research why because every time they do the researchers conclude that it's causing problems and they tamper with the results they threaten the researchers they discredit the researchers they um, fix the results, they fix the experiments and they come up with false results. This has been proven, this whistleblowers have been coming out a lot explaining this. The whole industry is a fraud so you cannot trust their research. So you have to go independent and you have to go deeper than just a quick five minute Google search which is what a lot of people were messaging me about. So you have to go deeper and you will find the results and everybody, everybody who goes down this rabbit hole concludes the same thing. That low frequency, even non ionizing radiation, is causing us health problems. Um, and you will conclude, you will come to this conclusion. Um, and uh, one thing I want to point out too, as well, which is a really important point, is a lot of these studies are done over short periods of time and they're, com and they're concluding serious health problems. Okay, there's not been one study that's done it over a long period of time which suggests to me that you having Apple AirPods in your ears 24 seven over a long period of time is gonna cause you health problems and it's gonna accumulate, accumulate, accumulate and you're gonna experience these problems later on in your life. Just cause you're not experiencing them now doesn't mean anything. I was wearing uh, wireless headphones and I was getting headaches so bad and I didn't understand why. Uh, until I came across a lot of this information and I understood. My sister was doing the same thing and she's now started to experience nosebleeds and headaches and I told her to stop wearing them. She has and she doesn't experience them anymore. A lot of you guys probably experienced something very similar and if you have I want you to comment down below too. Um, so anyway this was just me backing up my uh, post um, and my post that I made and kind of answering some of the questions some people had and really just trying to make you understand that you know if you see a post like this and you see comments like saying this is bullshit this is bullshit don't like this don't engage in this just do your own due diligence and do your own research and come to your own conclusions and don't just stick to a google search okay um, a lot of these people are astroturfers you know they're, they, they, they follow corporations as if it's a cult so they will do this Anyway, I'm going to post this on YouTube, so if you're from YouTube, follow me or subscribe to me. Um, keep up to date with my content, so follow me on Instagram at FarmConscious. And um, yeah, peace.